Nightwatch SEO review. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be reviewing Nightwatch SEO, so check the link in the description box down below to get started with Nightwatch. So let's get into it. Now, Nightwatch is an amazing platform that enables you to track your website's performance, to track your website's search engine optimization, and so many other different things and optimizations or different um, search engine related optimizations can be made via Nightwatch to further your uh, website's ranking to rank higher on Google. The higher you rank on Google, the more likely you are to get your business out there. So it is an amazing tool and I definitely do think that it is worthwhile in terms of purchasing it because I have purchased it and it has worked fantastically. You can really read a lot of those analysis and a lot of data that you normally would not be able to review for a client. Uh, I was building a website for someone else and it was really helpful in terms of analyzing where you need to improve and the different ways that you can actually improve that. So let's get into the plans and pricing of Nightwatch now. Nightwatch starts at only $32 per month with a 14-day free trial where you can track 250 keywords, have 50 websites tracked, track 5 competitors, have 5,000 site audit pages, as well as track Google, YouTube, Bing, and have Google Analysis integrations. So you have a bunch of different features and the more keywords you want to track, the higher the amount goes. So if you are a larger company that is working for SEO optimizations for other businesses, for smaller businesses, I think usually you can track around 7,000 keywords for $415 per month, which is a lot better than a lot of the other competitor uh, platforms out there because they are providing all the same features as well as detailed audit reports, detailed reports and analysis of the websites to further improve. So I think it's a pretty good deal. And now we're going to head on over to the Nightwatch application. So this is the Nightwatch application. You can see I have a basic dashboard. In this dashboard, you can monitor the average position of all the keywords in your list. So uh, you can see if I go into all keywords over here this is just one website that i have linked and you can see i have a bunch of different keywords i have 13 keywords and uh, when my keyword ranking went up i was at a 18.85 position when it went down i was at 19.15 so it's giving me daily statistics and i can change this into weekly as well as monthly statistics as well so in the weekly statistics i fell down at the first of february but i caught back up and you can really monitor all the keywords that you have i added a bunch of different ones and the best part about this is that if you click on add keywords you can just click on over here and you can add multiple different keywords you can import from the search console as well so you can go on ahead and add any kind of keyword so i can just import keywords from my google search console now other than that i also have batch keywords and discover keywords now if you just click on discover keywords even if you don't have the uh, google search console connected or you haven't uh, you know integrated that into your business you can go into their own discover keyword section and you can see they have recommended me two keywords i can click on over here once more and i have more keywords so this really is an amazing platform. Now, once I take a look at the discovered keywords that I can potentially rank for, I'm just going to select them and click on save keywords over here. And these keywords are going to now be saved. So I can click on save keywords and you can go on ahead and enter locations for this as well. So if you want to optimize your SEO for a particular location, you can optimize it for that as well. Now, moving on to the next section, in your ranking section, you can monitor the keywords that went up and the keywords that went down. This also includes things such as your search visibility, click potential, index pages, as well as the overall distribution of keywords. So if I take a look at the keywords that went down, this is a great way to scroll down. I can see these three keywords went down for this particular website, and you can see how far below that they went. So position went down in the last day. Now I can see my current ranking and how much it went down. So it's gone to six now, it's gone to eight. Then I can see the evolution graph. So the evolution graph allows you to see 
whether you are going down for a specific keyword for a long period of time or if it's going uh, relatively stable. So if you're bouncing between one and two positions, that's fine. That probably means you're okay. But if you're going towards a steep graph, that means you need to improve the SEO optimization. Now, next up, you also have tags. Now, if you click on the tags over here, you can add multiple different tags. So what this enables you to do is that maybe people search for a certain keyword with a certain tag as well. You can add those tags to better search for, you know, those specific items. Now, below that, we also have add new view. Now, in this way, you can actually monitor specific keywords. Let's say you want to monitor, you're trying to rank for a bunch of different keywords for your new, for your client. So let's say you have a new client and you're building their website. They're ranking for, maybe let's say it's a water bottle company. So they're ranking for like two keywords, but you want them to rank for uh, a couple of keywords related to fresh water or something like that. You can enter those keywords over here and select those specific specific ones and then create a new field so we're going to keyword condition and you can enter that specific value those specific words that you want to rank for and then save those keyword views and then monitor that if you want to focus on you know uh, providing progress reports to your uh, to your clients you want to provide progress reports to the businesses that you're working with on how optimized their websites are now next up is their graphs now graphs have multiple different metrics that they are measuring so you have a bunch of basic metrics such as your average position search visibility potential clicks keywords and index pages now the index pages are going to uh, be quite variable considering how many pages are going to be linking back to you then you also have the search visibility which is relatively stable for our website over here but if you're building a client's website from scratch or if you're doing someone's seo from scratch their uh, search visibility is supposed to go upwards if it is a pre-established website you are aiming to get your search visibility higher but if you already have a top ranking website it can't really go higher than number one now after that we have a weekly and monthly chart as well so you can monitor your weekly progress and below that you can enter notes so you can jot down notes and these are are very important because if you're creating client websites or optimizing client websites uh, you need to make sure that you're averaging a higher position every week or every day because you want to be able to get what the client wants so if you have a e-commerce website that you're supposed to optimize you want higher click potential so for that you can add notes regarding that and make sure it is a item that is sticking out make sure it is something that you are reminded of whenever you are building these whenever you are viewing these graphs to analyze the progress that you have made now you can also click on new graph over here and build a new graph based on a new dimension so you can click on add dimension over here you have your website let's say you want to build a competitor graph so we have a competitor graph let's say indulge with mimi and we want to compare the average positions of both of these websites so i can click on this i can click on search visibility click potential and I can add my own search visibility and click potential. Now you can see over here that you're going to have a comparative analysis. This is good in terms of those clients that are looking for uh, higher pages in regards to their competition, people that want to outrank certain uh, businesses, because let's say you are a baker, like I have these two these two platforms over here both of these websites are for ba baking related or cooking related um websites but let's say you have two uh you have a client that is uh trying to optimize for their local bakery position so when people search for local bakeries or custom cake in town they are going to probably click on the first or second search results and just hire that baker to bake their birthday cake, to bake their wedding cake, whatever it might be. So for certain people, it might not be to rank for all these keywords. They only might wanting to rank or outrank their local competitors in their region. So this graph can really help you monitor those local competitors in terms of general search visibility and click potential to just outrank those competitors because that is what is going to be the main focus of your client now moving on to the next section we have the site audit now site audits are essential for any website that is looking to uh, improve their seo now if i click on start crawling over here 
uh, you can ignore any specific link path if you are building the website still but if the website is completely built you can leave this and then we can click on start crawling and what this allows to do is that it allows the crawled page it crawls all the pages or views all the pages and audits the site so what how, how many total pages does this website have what are the problematic pages what are the pages causing issues what is the current site health the ssl certificate and how secure is your website then you have the overall crawlability now crawlability means if i open this website so if I open this website, this is the website that we're taking the metrics off of right now. The crawlability means how easy it is for me to open the home page and then move on to a next page. So crawlability means making sure that your potential audience or your audience is easily able to access all sections of your website and spends the most amount of time that they can. So that is the focus of any website. You want people to uh, focus on spending more time on the website. If it's a blog, then you want high crawlability. If it's an e-commerce store, you want high call to actions in the website. So you want to make sure that you monitor the site health and you actually do a site audit for this. Site audits are super automated here. You get all the descriptions. You have have all the indexable pages the descriptions the h1 text the load times you can improve load times you can monitor what takes more time to load let's say you have a client that built a website but they're not getting good crawlability people are visiting their home page but are not visiting the rest of their website it might be due to higher load times so you can work on improving that you can embed videos in a shorter format to make sure to reduce the time it takes for people to load everything up now you can see you have your problematic uh pages and you can click on select field and you can take a look at the different links that you have so you can filter out pages that match this condition so page url contains this so let's say it's regarding baking things and let's say i want to view those i can choose to do that now these are all the pages that are currently being crawled and you can see over here this page is a problem now if i click on this i can view the page and see what could be improved so what are some of the issues that are happening within this page and you can see over here there's a problem present on this page and this might be due to the fact that it doesn't have a description, no H1 text. So you can really make sure to view all the pages with issues for your clients to be able to improve upon that. Now, after that, you have your report section. The report section is amazing for larger enterprises because you want to provide updates and you can click on add report over here now in your report you can include um, a bunch of different statistics but you can also uh, build different types of reports so you have three basic templates a basic report that is just for initial meetings then you can provide a progress report to your clients where you can show the improvements that you have made for their website then you also have competitor report where you can provide competitor analysis as well where how much they have improved generally and then how much in terms of their competitors have they improved who is ranking higher and who is uh, you know taking ahead in the search visibility and other metrics of SEO. So below that, you have your elements. Let's say I want basic metrics only. Then I can show the keywords that went down or keywords that went up. I can choose to show that as well. Then I have include historic results for keywords if you want to include historic data. Then you can choose competitor rankings. So if you want to show the competitor's rankings in the graph as well, that is totally up to you depending on how detailed your client wants the graph to be. You can choose whatever you might want. And you can also choose how you want the data to be grouped by week or by month. Let's say I want weekly grouped data. Now, after that, you can see I have the average position for my website in blue, and then we have the search visibility for our website in red. We have the total keywords. Then if we scroll down over here, we can see we have our keyword results. We have the positions for indulge with Mimi, and it's not ranking for these keywords. And now below that, we can also add elements. So you can add a keyword list. You can add, you know, any other graph that you might want. So you can add a traffic overview of both of these websites or just your own then you can also schedule these reports let's say you have a client they ask they want competitor analysis every week of this 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 statistic so it might be they want to rank higher in a certain keyword so for that kind of thing you can click on all competitors keywords that went up historic data 
and competitor rankings for the month and we just want ranking organic rank and yeah so we have this now after that we want to schedule this we can schedule this weekly or on sundays on a specific time whatever it might be and you can add your client's email over here use the white label logo and then you can click on download report save report and share this with your uh client or with your own business you know if you're running your own business you can use it yourself these tools are easy to use yet they are super powerful and super helpful for just um um, making sure that your website is optimized for the current level of SEO that is demanded for Google ranking because it is difficult to rank your page on Google currently with basic keyword terms but using tools that direct you to the issues that need to be improved instead of trying to include as many keywords you want to be sure that the keywords that you are including are ranking for those specific items as well because if you're not if you're just adding as many keywords as you can to a website it doesn't mean that it's going to rank it it has a lot of other things such as you have search visibility you have a uh, crawlability of your web page you have indexing you have backlinking so this tool is going to help you into integrating all of that now this is just one sample website if i click on this uh, I have a bunch of other websites linked as well and you can see this website because it doesn't have many competitors it is a local website and you can see it's not going to show many much data because there is no data available but it does have a good amount of index pages which is the data available for this website it's a local website it's basically pretty new so it doesn't have a lot of data available now it's going to rank for a different keyword it's showing a hundred out of hundred because it is not ranking for any of the keywords that i added as a sample and you can see over here you even have some quick actions on your top so you have your report section and some quick actions you can do uh, directly from the top section if you're managing multiple different websites for multiple different clients this can be a easy way for you to generate reports and add keywords on a whim as well now moving on to some of your basic account settings on nightwatch you can see over here if i go into any of these websites so I go into this one you have your settings so if you click on your settings you have the url and you can also match subdomains so track data for all of your subdomains if you have subdomain websites as well you can also add name and you can add the google places so if you are targeting a specific region if you want to optimize your seo for that region then you want to add google places you also have other tracking options where you can track for a certain country Obviously, the search results for every country vary, so the keyword tracking needs to be optimized for the local business area, depending on what level the brand that you're building the website or improving the SEO for is. Uh, you can rank according, you know, you can add that specific country, and if you are tracking for multiple different countries, uh, you can track their local website or their international website for maybe a couple of countries via this method where you can just click on the link and add url and add their url and then track for another country in another section so i hope you guys found this video helpful i definitely do think nightwash is a tool you should try out so check the link in the description box down below to get started with nightwatch make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video